Okay, this is the mock-up. It's made out of MDF. I ordered plastic from San Diego Sheet Plastic. I've got um, PVC outside waiting. You can see the chin rest. I'm going to take this out of the unit and show you the double slide inside. This is the forehead rest, but I, don't, I think it's going to be a separate piece cut from here. Um, then you can see here how the HP is going to go in. Um, it'll, of course, have a uh, nice nacelle over it. And then the keyboard comes out and it moves, it moves up and down five inches and goes back in. Uh, like that, and back in. And then the back will have a plate over the back here to disguise the bottom of the trash bin. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop the film and take out the slide unit. Uh, but I can pull this off right now, I think. <clears throat> uh, okay, that comes off. And what I really want to do is down here, here is put another slide so we can slide the optical, the whole tray out like this. Uh, it, I think it'll support the weight. Uh, if not, we can always just take it out like this. I'm going to go over to the desk here and I'll show you the chin rest goes up and down like this. I'm going to mount the motor over here on the behind. Actually, probably mount it to the upper slide, <coughs> the uh, Nimi 17, and then have a piece, metal piece, coming around here. And I'll just pull, pull this up and down like this. Um, now, the bottom tray will be like this, but larger slides. <coughs> I don't, and they'll be like this. Maybe not a little, little larger, but uh, that's stuck there. Like that. Then there'll be, of course, the cross slides here. Okay. And then another one here. And then the other plate, which will be smaller than the bottom plate. Let's see. This would be uh, 12. Well, maybe you can get... Well, it's going to have to be 10 to get the movement that I want. And 10 here, 10 and 10. I need a half, you know, an inch movement back and forth. Uh, for the uh, PD. So it'll be similar to this. Maybe I can use these slides, but I think I can get a little bit. I've got uh, <clears throat> 10 and 12 inch ones coming. So this thickness would be from here to here. This is my cheap Harbor Freight caliber. And so we go to inches. It does turn itself off, Vince. Uh, unlike your other ones. Okay, so that's 28 millimeters or uh, Okay up one uh, One and a quarter inches not counting the bottom quarter inch plate and then there's some there'll be a space on the bottom So if you put another slide down there for just sliding it out and then you're gonna have less space up here but you can see you have where the eye is going to be, you have approximately, let's say if the eye is going to be centered, you know, you've got uh, like the four inches we talked about right, right here. Uh, there's four, four inches. And so the eye would be right there where the and caliber is. And then the overall, if you remember, is I'll walk back there and show you this <coughs> is um, a little bit less than 10 inches, nine and three quarters. Uh, so 
there's space there. If we need more space, there's another unit that, another trash can that we can use, or we can have the steel bent, stainless steel bent to that shape, uh, custom make it. So this sheet would go on top on top of this. I didn't cut it yet, like that. And then this would give me my back and forth for the PD and the I cup. And what I'm actually thinking, and you guys can help on this, is rather than having uh, knobs out here to move it, is to actually bring a probe, a pole down, and actually have a joystick sticking out, maybe underneath here or here, or even up here, to move it, uh, and then you screw it down to lock it. That way you can move it, you know, laterally <coughs> and diagonally. So that's what we're talking about, and hopefully it'll fit, but if it doesn't, we can make it bigger. And as you can see, it could over be uh, bigger, but of course we're used to looking at the perimeter but it's easy to do down and around. They have them in oval designs too, the trash can. What's nice about it, you get this ejected plastic rim, yeah. and um, you can see the top goes in like this, and that's a nice top. Speaking of that, so when it goes in the unit here, there'll be a fixed plate here, uh, out here, I'm sorry, right out here with slots to uh, accommodate the up and down uh, chin rest. And then behind that, there'll be another plate with the eyepiece, so there'll be a sliding plate uh, in back of this plate. So so they can't see in the guts of the of the optics. So hopefully that'll work. I'm hoping my motor will work here. I'm putting it up here rather than put it in the center just to give you guys room, you know, for sliding up to uh, get as close to the eye as possible. So it'll be over here on this post here and just pull it straight up. I've got uh, four inches up and down. A slit lamp has three and a half, and I'm, I don't know what the Magnum had, uh, but um, I think that's enough. And I, this is made out of wood, of course. I do have a block of polyethylene over here. Oh, uh, that there's the slit lamp I've been using. Um, that we can mill it out of. But, Neil, I'm wondering if we can make a mold uh, like that. It, and uh, then I just put inserts in the back and maybe make it out of a less expensive plastic. That block was $30, which isn't too bad. But if, because if you look at <coughs> McMaster McCar uh, Car, McMaster Car, it's, uh, it, it's very expensive, that stuff. This is from San Diego Plastics, again. So anyway, that's um, the setup. I talked to those guys uh, about regulatory stuff for about an hour from two to three and Rob an hour. So I'm getting hoarse, but uh, <clears throat> that looks pretty good. I told them that we, I told them our schedule and so forth and gave them a little Gantt chart of what we're going to do. So um, I have another little different design, I mean the same, but it's a smaller coming up, and this is cantilevered off of it. Um, I'll show you that. Um, this is, uh, this would be plastic, grooved, and glued, and of course that'll be welded metal. I can show you that. Say hello to rain. <coughs> and, um, other bathroom. Okay, uh, in here I've got um, the steel getting ready to weld, and 
So it's going to be either three inch, uh, you know, um, square like this, or this is two by three, and this will be raised up a little bit for light underneath. It's a little thinner profile. Um, I've got a lot of welding companies nearby, believe it or not, because of the farm industry, and I've just got some more aluminum in, and um, that's the other places, and, um, and that's the old one there, so I got a lot of prototypes. Uh, hopefully this helps. Talk to you later.